The butterfly effect, it's uh, not gonna be as big as it was, but on the top lane, Fly Fly, he gets the first blood, and now the Nyx Assassin, he's inside of a nightmare as well. Grass Carpass uh, jump into Blood right, and suddenly there is a stunt emo. Is he going down? Is he going down? Is he going yeah. down? Yep, uh, emo is going down. Uh, no reason for that, but he does survive. It was perfectly calculated. I'm not gonna use the spells. You know, you are uh, maybe uh, getting your fingers tired there. Now with the blood right, they get a kill and Dolly. He'll easily get himself out. He even had the brain stab there to work with, so it's not like his uh, his life was ever in danger. And a bear could get trampled if not uh, careful. Now the rupture onto the dark here. He can't run any longer, but Lena coming over. Butterfly effect will save his body for now. Fly Fly trying to get himself away. Fly, you fools. And it seems like through the trees, he gets himself into a safe position. This rotation from Butterfly Effect, it will be unsuccessful, at least in terms of getting kills. He does save his buddy, but now who's gonna save QIQX under the trap? He gets an assassinated by Emo, and Emo is gonna say thank you for giving me a little bit of the gold back. As a core, he's all about tempo, but he doesn't scale all that well. Or am I mistaken? Ooh, fits grip. Yeah, but it's a Fiend's Grip that's gonna get cancelled immediately. Stranger was there. The arrow, it's flying through. It's not gonna go through everyone. It merges everything and Fly Fly, he would like to run away. He's pretty fast. He smells the blood, but it might be his own and he will die there. The Abaddon from the side, he will cut off his path. No matter how fast you are, if you're running towards the enemies. They leave the Ursa alone on the bottom lane. They're trying to go for the Bloodseeker. Ursa is by no means alone. They get an arrow into the next can. They finish him off. He does have the Spike Airplane, but Emo is here to cut you down with a DD. It's gonna be very easy to do. And the Ursa, he'd like to run away. The Abaddon is DPing in. Fiend's Grip immediately used. He's gonna be there in a second. Remove that one. The Ursa in rage. No, he doesn't have it. He only has the overpower. He does get mad there. And QIQX now hiding in the trees. They know that you're close. And they come in with the Horsey. There, we're on the, uh, on the Spirit Breaker, you know, a cow riding a horse, not something that you see too often, but in the mid lane, Butterfly Effect does get a tower, he's stunned, but now they know that IG is ready for this stranger, he's gonna be under his own sentry, so protected, here comes the charge from JT, he stops it, the spike air pace, he knew that it was gonna hurt him, Only now, stunned up, can they finish off the Bane immediately? Yes, they can, and the Bane, 30 seconds on the sidelines, he would love to come back, he does have a buyback, but is it the right way to go, with the Bloodseeker not being in the vicinity, this Roche is falling low, and Fly Fly, he doesn't want to be a part of this, the BKB is flying towards him, but he will not be there in time. Away oh, without e any hesitation. JT initiating onto Lina with the scouts during the draft. That uh, Barra is really annoying against Lina, but uh, that's not gonna lead to anything. What is gonna lead to a kill is this middle lane where Bane falls once again. But that's not the kill you kind of want to have if you're IG Vitality. You have so much of a tempo advantage and you're using it to kill position 5 supports. That's not great. Killing Imozo, killing Emu is great and they are gonna get the skill. 522 gold for Darks here. Uh, Invictus Gaming, they are seeing a baton, but they don't want to go on this baton, that's for sure. Maybe Darks here is an, is an option. Yep, and they start with a bar ulti. Yeah, it's an easy target. Oh, they missed the arrow. No, no problem. They destroy him in a second. They even use the BKB on Emo quite a lot, and they know them inside and out. Stranger is gonna get caught. The arrow, it is gonna connect, and he doesn't have the Aphotic Shield to remove it any longer. He dies on the next assassin, and now the chase is on. The stun from the lead, I'm not gonna be connecting, but Yursa goes in immediately. Fiend's Grip, to raise your arms and kill the bear. You're not that strong if you're not inside of the woods. And QIQX, he might have his ulti, but his life, it's looking like it's gonna go down. They have a trap set, and he will not move an inch horse or not he will not be fast enough the darks here though he's running away but guess what jt is pretty fast himself he doesn't have the vision to catch the darks here so at least this guy will survive but the igv they lose multiple heroes just before the roach spawns uh, maybe like oh no they actually go for this roach and straight away uh they are just too quick with it they're super quick with it, but the Stranger is coming in. The Darks here, where is the vacuum wall? They need it now, he has the Blink Dagger, this could be dangerous, the charge onto the Roche, so the cow is gonna be there fairly soon. But the Illusion, it's scouting them. And it will not allow the blink in QIQX. He has the ulti, so he can definitely run in. But the rupture was used. They're going for the Lina. Actually, QIQX now dropping low. He doesn't have his ulti any longer. It will be expiring soon. Yukio, he walks into the Roche pit with a BKB. Stop me if you can. And yes, they can by charging through him. Yukio, though, standing one versus one against the Roche. But there's the sub supports there. Can he get the Roche? Can he get it? But fly, fly quick on his fingers. I'll be the one claiming immortality. And the Ursa 
Without the Aegis, he will be an easy grab. IG, they win that fight. The vacuum wall, it just wasn't on point. And Butterfly Effect, he gets himself out. And even though I was kind of slightly rooting for the underdogs, slightly hoping for IG Vitality, and they were doing well. It's looking grim, so nice uh, vacuum wall, but there is no follow up. Where is your Lina? She is chilling in the tavern. Where is your Urza? She is joining your Lina. Yep, and uh, the rest might actually join them as well. There's gonna be race cars here. They were keeping themselves away from the highway, but now those cars, they're gonna be going through. They don't care about the law. Uh, is yep, it? that is, it is Yashakaya. Is it the first time I've seen it in a professional game? Like, who else builds it? OD, like, won in the 100 games. Yeah, very rarely do we see it. Oh, vacuum wall, that's gonna be an amazing one. And Yursa jumps in, there's gonna be a one punch there towards the Bane. They finish him off. Emo doing the damage, he's trying to kill the Darkseer, but the Yules will keep him safe. Another hit is flying through. Where did that hit come from? They kill him, and now Yukio he has to be hit they immediately. Take off the stun. He's not gonna get ran over, and Ursa is starting to heal up. He wants to kill people, but one bash, and they slay the bear. Now Delina starting to fight. He tries to do some damage. The stun, that doesn't work against BKBs, and they're coming for you. You better run. You better run away right now butterfly effect because we're coming for you we're coming to bring you down a good start from stranger isn't gonna change a damn thing and now again a punch a normal punch from the dark sphere. you're gonna be needing a serious punch if you want to kill these guys and igv after that fight they understand that the game is over and they will call it that looks so promising i'm not gonna lie i'm slightly you know slightly disappointed slightly sad even for the side of igv The, uh, into an early shadow blade just to be aggressive but uh nice point here uh ig vitality all of their heroes have arcanas and that could make a difference let's see now of course it is with arcanas you can't lose fly fly where do you think you're going and you will get cut down that's how you win dota you buy five arcanas and now we can uh, like fine in this lane it's, it's a hero that uh, can dominate his lane but he is okay if he doesn't because he can uh, actually do things like that and maybe kill Oli in this instance Oli trying to get himself killed by the neutral creeps but is not successful at least get some extra damage on the struggle to that kill has to be careful turns himself into a tree but jt he knows where you are and the mischief will not help you they get him down from the trees they're gonna get him from up heights down where the mortals are and they'll finish him off with jt finally puncturing his heart Kyo though continuing to farm well but just not as well as the uh, as the troll and it seems like we're looking mostly at his bottom lane now the stun onto the ta they're coming to help delina the laguna blade doing a ton of damage emo he has the refraction charges seems like he's gonna survive and he does now turns around with the trap the bugs are there they're going on them and the rubik is gonna be the first one to fall qiqx now they're turning for the monkey king they'll let delina live but the monkey king he might be going down but a fly effect with the posturing aggressively there he will defend his buddy so IGV, ultimately they lose only one. That was a nice attempt, but Emo just way too tanky and the refraction charge is coming back up at in the nick of time. Trave says it's a perfect play from him. Extra 75 gold in his pocket. Going for this Battle of Fury and it's probably not gonna get punished. Uh, Egg in the middle lane and Lina is probably very much dead. Yeah, they're going for him through the egg. The egg stun doesn't connect on anyone. They don't even burn. And now the LC comes over, but who's gonna do the damage? They killed the Rubik as well. Let's see if they can finish off this Weaver. He has the ulti. Can he turn back time? Yes, Frisk says, I don't want to fight you. I want to go back in time and then we can talk about a fair fight and it's not gonna be fair because ig they're just crushing ig vitality they already killed three heroes here around the mid lane and now the rest of igv they have to get themselves out get that much map control and now with the smoke they'll try to equalize it rubik with the shikuchi running quite fast jt he is tanky 2000 hp with the armlet turned on on the strike connects wukong's man is gonna be there they have the lift come back in the stun doesn't connect and jt is out he has the arena that laguna blade it doesn't hurt in one bit and now inside of the arena the stolen one as well rubik he forces this weaver to stand his ground and fight yukio comes but quite low because the troll did so much damage stranger the arena will protect him for the time being but he dies in the end he was just not set to be a gladiator when you look at the uh a little scrawny body of the Rubik. He just cannot face these warriors on the side of IG. Does have the Shikuchi, so that's gonna give him a little bit of something. And they found the Legion Commander. She doesn't have a Shikuchi. Shikuchi, no way to hide herself and gets burned down in the NJT.
punctures the heart of the LC. She will not be able to survive the overwhelming gods definitely there against her and Stranger, he tries to run away but just not gonna be as elusive as a real Weaver can be. Feel it, right? As they know that they are doing really, really well. Now Emo, is he, has he been scouted out? No. Ping him out, he, they go for him, but he has the Aegis as well. The Yukio taking so much damage, he has the DD, he gets cut down. Now the duel can at least kill the Weaver. The Spear, they're protecting him, but the stolen melt from Stranger, he can do that one as well. The Rubik becoming the assassin. Now Emo being stunned up, close to the edge of the Wukong's man, turns around with a hit, and Butterfly Effect, he takes a nice slap there, but still, it's a two for two. But they have the Aegis, so Emo still wants to go in to get the Yules onto the Rubik. This time around, he'll be going down. JT makes sure of it, Spear through the heart, and they shield over it just to make sure that it's deep enough. Solid counter. Anyways, now, Frisk getting himself out. He turns around with the bugs. Gonna be connecting with multiple heroes. Stranger, he would like to steal the Shikuchi, but in the end, he steals the Bulwark. Where's your shield, though, Stranger? What are you gonna protect yourself with? Death, yes, that's what came upon him. All he did burn him down, but actually it was the damage from the Mars and the TA that actually brought him down so low. King, what can the enemy do to turn it around? Just a second, let's look at the arena. They lift him up, he has stolen the arena. There's gonna be two arenas, but Rubik, you're gonna die in your own, in mine. It doesn't really matter, you're gonna die either way. And IG, they get another fight going their way with JT with a beautiful arena. And now, wants to go for more. They're gonna get the Yules onto Butterfly Effect. Maybe they can catch him. And nope, that's not gonna be the case. In the end, they'll focus down. Vitality, they're going forward. Demo doesn't have the Aegis. He's gonna get the old Can they burst him down fast enough? They're going in with the damage. The arena will be there. They're trying to kill him and they'll be able to. That's Emo dead. Now they're turning around. The arena will be there. But also, the Wukong's Man's Stranger is still alive. But the, the laser, it is burning them down. This is gonna be enough. The two heroes will die. They get some revenge for their fallen comrade. And they'll try to get more with the Rubik. That's gonna be three that IG Vitality don't what? get out. No! JT, he finds the spear through the face of this Lina. You wanna kill our TA? Well, now the punishment will come. IG going forward in the Mars. He uh, probably yeah. said, fight me, just in the Chinese language. Uh, the GG is called, and uh, I really like what you're saying. I agree that every single Chinese team is solid, but only some. Right.